You will need a printout of my wing template, scissors, a piece of lightweight cardboard and a pen, fabric and fabric pencil, glue, lace, feathers, a hot glue gun, some wire, and pliers. Start by cutting out the large wing template. I only cut out one wing because I fold my cardboard in half so I only have to make one cut and both sides turn out exactly the same. So fold your cardboard and trace your wing on. Make sure that the tab is on the fold. If you like the way your wing looks, now it's time to cut it out. Notice how there is a large span of cardboard in the center. I'm going to shrink it. If I were putting a flower or ribbon on the wing, I would leave it together. So I cut it in half, adjust the length, and then glue it together. When your wings are dry, it's time to trace the wings onto the fabric. One set needs to be slightly larger than the wing so it can wrap around the edges. I freehand about a quarter of an inch away from the wing. The other set needs to be slightly smaller than the actual wings. I trace the wings and cut inside the traced lines. After your wings are traced, go ahead and cut them out. Note the size difference. Right now, we only need the large cutout. Make sure your cutout is good, then glue the cardboard wings and fabric wings together. Adjust your wings until you get them correctly spaced on the fabric. To eliminate any wrinkles in the fabric, press the fabric firmly against the cardboard. Before you wrap your fabric, you need to cut diagonal slits between the curve of the wing and the straight of the tab. Working in small sections, place a small amount of glue at the edge of the cardboard wing and then wrap the fabric around it. At some point, you will need to make another cut into the fabric to relieve the tension. your lace and start cutting it into pieces. The lace I used I didn't need all of, so I cut some bits off and set them aside. Once you have all your pieces cut out, it's time to attach them. Again, there are some pieces on the lace that I don't want to use so that the layers will sit a little bit flatter, so I cut those off before I attach. Now it's time to get friendly with your hot glue gun. I attached each individual piece of lace or a feather that I was working in one at a time. When you get to the top, leave the lace bits whole. Do not trim off the excess. You need to trim off anything that is hanging over the top of the angel wings before we move on to finishing them off. Remember those bits of lace we cut off at the start? Well, now you need them. You are going to work these over the edge of your wing and cover up any leftover gaps. Flip 
your wings over and cut about five inches of wire. Fold this in half and twist the ends together before placing them on your wings. I use a double layer of hot glue to ensure that my wire is stuck deep into the glue. Almost done. Now it's time to glue the smaller wings that we cut out of the fabric onto the back. Maneuver your wings into place until all the cardboard is covered. You might have some pot spots that aren't covered. Color these with a brown marker. <laughs> 